Gone are the days of everybody putting their, their head in the sand and saying, you know, that's somebody else's problem. They're looking for real solutions right now, and our company, Delta Clean Tech, is the one to provide those solutions. We've been at this for, for 14 years. You know, we have a team of, of doctors, PhDs. Uh, we have a, a team of exceptional experience that, you know, is over 30, 40 years in, in the solution chemistry purification. We formed the company in 2004, initially under the name HTC, Hydrogen Technologies Corp. We had a belief that the hydrogen economy was going to be one of the solutions to ESG, to environmental social governance, to climate change, to the reduction of CO2. We emerged and we realized that, that while the hydrogen economy was one part of it, it really was about reducing carbon dioxide, period. We focus on hydrogen, we focus on solvent, we focus on carbon capture technologies, and at the end of the day, we also have carbon credit management, which are all very synergistic. When, when it's all said and done, these, all of these divisions work very well with each other. We've got um, sales capability worldwide. We're in the Far East, we're in the Middle East, we're in the UK. Uh, we've got tremendous relationships with some of the largest power pr uh, providers, uh, technology infrastructure providers worldwide in the UK. Uh, we're in the Gulf of Mexico, we're in Canada. So we truly are a global corporation with the ability to develop projects specific to those individual needs worldwide. It's not a cookie cutter type situation. Every project really there's the basic technology but we custom design these plants for the existing situation. But if I was to quantify the value proposition that we bring to the table, it truly is our experience. We are not a science experiment. A lot of companies now are, are looking for ways that they can improve their ESG footprint, environmental and social governance. And one of those ways they can do that is by having clean power that they're using and not have to pay carbon taxes. So the model that we've come up with in, in the carbon-free industrial park is the fact that you look for an energy source like, for example, stranded natural gas, and then we generate power uh, with that gas. And at the same time, we use our CO2 capture technology to actually capture all the emissions for those large uh, turbines or reciprocating engines. Now, if we can take those that emissions and then we can actually use that for something else, for example, if there's enhanced oil net recovery nearby potential, or some of the uh, potential uses of the CO2, for example, the XPRIZE people, whether it be a carbon nanotube or a, or an ethanol or a methanol production, these are ways that we can actually subsidize the cost of, of this particular industrial park. So now you're using stranded gas, you're creating your own power, and you're actually able to use the CO2 in the process. And as a result, uh, we call it a carbon-free industrial park, and it makes a lot of sense. The hydrogen market is an exciting market. It's a great fuel, and, and really today it's a matter of how is that fuel going to be manufactured? Today, you can build gray hydrogen, blue hydrogen, or green hydrogen. Gray hydrogen is the splitting of that natural gas. You take away the hydrogen, and you move it to market. But the CO2 you emit. Blue hydrogen, you split natural gas the same way. You take the hydrogen away and feed it to the markets, which is fantastic. And you capture the carbon dioxide from that transaction. And the blue hydrogen industry, we predict will be very, very strong for the next 30 years while we eventually transition to green hydrogen. And green hydrogen will be simply utilizing electrolysis to produce hydrogen out of water using renewable electricity. So it's gonna take a while for the, enough of renewable electricity to be in our system to be able to make green hydrogen. In the, in the interim, much like our fossil fuels, we need a bridging technology to be able to produce the hydrogen we're going to need, and that's called blue hydrogen. Hydrogen production is an energy source represents a significant uh, environmental benefit to mankind. So we're in the blue hydrogen space. Uh, we're also in the standalone chemical purification business. Uh, the last uh, division that we have that's wrapped up within the Delta group of companies uh, is we were, a couple of years ago, the largest agricultural carbon credit trading 
a group on the Chicago Stock Exchange. You know, when it comes down to making a major investment in carbon capture, uh, they want to ensure that it's a technology that's going to work and that's going to be optimum. And, and that's what we deliver. We can accomplish anything. I mean, we've got the support of our team. We've got the, certainly the technologies. We're in a position that society and industry demand what we're doing, what we can offer. And uh, that's a pretty exciting space to be in right now.